Okay, now the first thing in Flash we need to do is go through and do a file new and open up a new ActionScript 3 file. Inside here I'm going to go into my properties and let's change our stage size. I'm going to change mine to 800 by 600. Under my background color I'm going to change this to a nice light blue for my sky color. And say OK and let's close that up and just do a show all. Coming down to the bottom, I'm going to grab a nice brown color to start with. We can come under our color picker and just let's move this down into the nice brown areas. Get a nice dark brown. We could even darken that up just a little bit. Grabbing my rectangle tool, starting down here at the bottom. I'm going to click and drag a rectangle all the way across the stage using my selection tool we can actually grab the edge of this and start bending it so what we need to do is be looking at our concept art at this point and seeing what it looks like so I have a nice bump here coming over to this side I'm going to use my control key click that edge and drag and you can see it adds a new anchor point out there so I'm going to modify that and then coming over off of this side is kind of do the same thing. And let's bring this down and bring that bump out just a little bit. I can see my point here. We can move that around till it gets nice lined up so it's looking pretty nice. Let's go ahead and bring that up just a little bit. Okay. Good. Double click on my layer. I'm going to call this foreground. And now I'm going to lock that layer. Insert a new layer. I'm going to call this mid ground one. Because we got a couple different mid grounds. I'm going to drag that layer below the next layer. Anything that is in our layers panel up here on our timeline what's ever on bottom is furthest back in time or furthest back in the distance so I'm gonna darken up my color just a little bit by just dragging on the little icon over here to make that a little darker grab another rectangle tool and let's bring another box out here again with my selection tool I'm gonna make an arc I'm going to grab this point and bring it down just a little bit. And the reason we want these in different layers is so we can have our targets popping up at different spots. So, locking this layer, let's insert another one. I'm going to call this mid ground 2. Again, let's drag that down to the bottom. Let's darken up our color just a little bit more. Let's grab another rectangle and this time let's come out about in here. I'm going to drag my free transform tool and line this up with the edge of the stage. Going back to my selection tool, I'm going to drag this side down. Let's bring out an arc. Hold my control key down somewhere down in here. Let's bring that guy out just a little bit more. And let's go ahead and bring this guy down. Let me create just a small curve down in here. So I got something like that and again let's lock that insert one more layer I'm going to call this my background mountains let's drag that down to the bottom again let's darken up our color going almost to black here let's grab our rectangle tool and let's click and drag all the way across again 
in again with my control down and my selection tool to start creating some background mountains out here. So these can be any shape that you want. Not being very particular about uh, going through and recreating these. As long as they look like some mountains out here. Okay, now lock that layer. I see I need to fix this right over here and let's bring that out. Help line that up. Okay, now in our next lesson, we'll go through and finish out our scene, creating the rest of our mountains. Uh, might go through and modify this a little bit. Uh, create our little bushes out here for our props and our cactus. So I will see you in the next lesson.